screen, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Fine. Excellent. Thank you for joining, everybody. We're going to start with the class. Um, well, first, I want to, you know, pass attendance because we have the control right over here. Let's go. Please, as soon as you listen to your name, remember, say present. Please, on the end. Let's go. Dagna? Present. Very good. Maria Veronica? Durán? Present, teacher. Nancy? Alexis? Present. Thank you. Let's continue with Edith. No, present. Present. Here, Maria Wilson? Present, teacher. Here, Anna Jeanette? Vanessa Ray? Present, teacher. Very good. William? Present, teacher. Thanks. Daniel Jeremias? Present, teacher. Thank you. Ruth Elizabeth? Present, teacher. Thank you. Ruth Milagro? Present, teacher. Good. Please. Is it make you? Here. Walter? Present teacher. Okay. Service model? Okay. Tonya Maldonado? Tonya Maldonado? Hmm. Present teacher. Thanks. Jaime? Present. Very good. Suma. Present, teacher. Good. Gloria. AD. Present, teacher. Very good. Thank you. Good evening, Jensen. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to include you in the, in the list. No worries. Victor. And see Victor. Thank you, Victor. Dilma. Present teacher. Thanks. Jocelyn. Present teacher. Excellent. Erika Yesenia. Present. Vilma. Vilma Tatiana. Veronica Milagro. Verónica Milagro. Gerardo. Present. Thank you. Erika Marisol. Present teacher. Very good. Marta Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Carolina. Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Well, I uh, can mention now. Oh, Luis, yeah. Good evening, Luis. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. Good evening, one more time. It's nice meeting you. Thank you, Luis. Uh, if someone else is missing in the list, please let me know. Si alguien hace falta, por favor. Well, I can see Gloria. Good evening, Gloria. How are you, Gloria? ¿Qué más me hace falta? ¿Quién que se acaba de venir ahorita? No sé, Jancy, Luis, Gloria. Creo que solamente eso ahorita. Ok. We're going to start, guys.
Okay, this is class number 12. Very good. Today is Tuesday, August 10th. And yeah, class number 12, that is the topic. Topic is simple, pass, yes, not question. But at the same time, we're going to introduce a WH questions, okay? Very good, let me see the chat. Oh, okay, no worries, Gloria. Hey, remember, if you can use if you can use a microphone, you can use the chat box. Si no podemos utilizar el micrófono por el momento, porque está fallando. Cuando hay alguna dificultad, eh, utilizamos pues, la, la mejor vía de, de, de comunicación es el chat. Puede estar revisando el chat para ver su respuesta. No se preocupe. Eh, antes de iniciar, nuevamente, hacer el el recordatorio de sus actividades, ¿verdad? Si hemos completado la, la plataforma hasta esta fecha, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Felicito. Excelente. Y los que todavía, pues, vamos, seguimos trabajando, los que vamos al día, los que nos han un poco, sigamos, sigamos. Pues, se puede, ¿verdad? Se puede. Sé que lo vamos a lograr, ¿ok? Todavía hay tiempo. Todavía hay tiempo, recuerden que tienen hasta el lunes, hasta el lunes para tener completo todo, la plataforma y el examen final. Ya el martes sería la última clase y sería clase normal, ¿verdad? Se va a reforzar el último contenido. Entonces, que vamos también uniéndonos a las clases para ir reforzando y practicando mucho más. ¿Okay? Esa es la invitación para todos en cada clase dar nuestra plataforma. La mayoría ya completó. Perfecto. Hay que seguir practicando, como lo dije ayer, y hay que seguir pues, poniéndonos en las clases para poder ir mejorando mucho más. Si hay preguntas, dudas, o algo que no se comprendió, tengamos pena en decirlo. Acá en clases. ¿Ok? Por favor. No tengamos miedo, no tengamos pena. ¿Ok? Si nos equivocamos, pues recuerden que todos tenemos errores. Que no tengan miedo de equivocarse. Que nos equivocamos una vez pasé, ¿verdad? Como decimos. Y pues, con el error es aprender. ¿Cómo aprendemos? Que no se preocupen. Eh, pero eso sí, quiero que no se pongan con dudas. Hagamos preguntas. Bien, entonces, si hay dudas, comentarios. ¿Algún ejercicio de la plataforma que no lo han comprendido? ¿Todo excelente? Yes, it's okay. It's okay, teacher. Thank you. Well, let's continue. Let's go with the class. Tienen preguntas, hagamos. Okay, repeat. Let's go. The topic simple class. We continue with the simple class, but now we're going to focus on questions. Let's go with questions. We already saw affirmative and negative one, right? And we saw questions, right? But we're going to focus on questions today. Simple class. Yes, no questions. And we will see WH questions too. Okay. Let's begin with just no questions. What is the way we construct a just no question? Is this one, look? Let's begin with just no questions first. This is the way we structure a question. A just no question. Remember, a just no question or just no questions have short answers short answers of course we can get some more long answers in some cases right so it depends right in this case we're going to focus on short answers for example this is the structure that we put we begin with did did is an auxiliary did is an auxiliary verb that is the beginning of the question this is some verb auxiliar. Did for simple pass. Okay, we start with that plus subject plus the verb. But the verb, remember, it is not in the past form, it is in base form. Play, go, visit, start, do, go. 
watch, etc. So the verbs are in base form in the questions. So we don't change them in the past. Okay. Then we have a complement at the end and we finish with the question mark. Remember, it is really important to include the question mark at the end because that complements the question. This is the question mark. It is really important to include it. In, in English, we use just the end. I mean, the, the end of the, the last, or in this case, the, the, the question mark, right? So we don't use at the beginning, just at the end, okay? That is the structure. Let's see some examples. Here we have some examples. Okay, so I'm so sorry for, for that color, which is yellow, because it is hard to identify, but I'm going to write the questions over here, okay? Again, did, at the socket, which is in base form. We have the complement. Okay, the first question, let's go with some examples. For instance, do you go to the zoo yesterday? That is one example. Do you go to the zoo yesterday? This is the way we structure the question. D, the tutory, this is the subject. This is the verb. The verb, as you can see, it is not in past form, it, it is in base form. And this is a complement. So we don't say when, for example, no, because that is incorrect. We use uh, the verbs in the past form just with affirmative form. So here we use the verb in base form, just go. Did you go to the zoo yesterday? And we can respond because this is a short answer. We can say, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Okay. Yes, I did, no, I didn't. Did you go to the zoo yesterday? Yes, I did. Did you go to the zoo yesterday? No, I didn't. Yes, no, yes, no. In some cases, a uh, people, <clears throat> We get long answers. We can get long answers. For example, if you say yes, I did. Do you did you go to the zoo yesterday? Yes, I did. I went there with my family. So in some occasions you get long answers. So here we get a long answer. It's a long answer. Okay, because you include more information. You're saying that you went there with your family. Okay, let's see another example. Did he visit some friends last week? This is a different question. Did he visit uh, his friends last week? As you can see, we're changing the, the subject and the verb. So we're using he, it's a different subject. And we're using the verb visit in this case. Did he visit his friends last week? So the way we answer is similar, but we change the subject. So we say, yes, he did. Or we say, no, he did. This is in there. And again, we get short answers, okay? Let's go with another one. Did she eat a burger last night? Did she eat a burger last night? Again, we're changing the, the subject and the verb. So now the verb is eat, we don't say Eight, because that is the past form. We use a verb in base form. Simple verb is in, in form of us. The way we answer is, yes, she did, or we can say, no, she didn't. Yes, she did, no, she didn't. We can, we are 
varying, we are changing the subjects. And as you can see, we keep the same structure. Mantenemos la misma estructura. Porque vamos a el verbo y el Another one. Did we live in China three years ago? Did we live in China three years ago? And now we're using we. So you can answer, yes, we did. No, we didn't. Okay. And the last possibility is I mean, the last example in this case is, did they see a dolphin last summer? Did they see a dolphin last summer? So now we're using the subject they and the verb is see. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Okay. This is the way we ask just no questions. And that's the way we respond to those questions. We say yes or we say no. We get short answers. Short answers. All right. Any doubts over here, guys? Preguntas acá? Oh, teacher. Thank you. Yes, no questions. It's in the chat. Oh, okay. I, I have um, Veronica Milago. Good evening, Veronica. Thank you for joining. How are you, Veronica? Good night, teacher. Nice. Okay, very good. Amazing. So we are starting uh, with the class. We introduced this part. Veronica, could you listen to me with the explanations? Sorry, sorry, sorry re re repeat me, please. Yeah, sure. Could you listen to me? I mean, from the beginning? I'm sorry, uh, I don't understand with the, because eh, uh, este, es que se, se escucha como cortado, teacher, a veces. Oh, I see, okay. Eh, le preguntaba si es, eh, cuando se unió ya, ya estaba, se unió hace un momento, hace un par de minutos, o hace poquito. Eh, este, Cuando, cuando comenzaba a explicar, creo que la primera diapositiva ah. que tenía con letras verdes. Ok. Bueno, de hecho, esa es la primera diapositiva, ¿verdad? Creo que se refiere a eso. Ah, sí, sí, perdón, sí. No se preocupe, no se preocupe. Ok, entonces, ¿escuchó toda la explicación? Sí, sí. You're welcome. Hágame saber si hay preguntas, ¿ok? Igual, para todos, preguntas. Teacher. Yes. ¿Puedes? Puede poner lo que nos dio de ejemplo. Sure, sure. Solo va a tomar una captura. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Moving on, let's continue with the other form. Let's go now with WH questions. This is the first form, let's say, with questions. Yes, no. Yes, no questions. And we get short answers. Remember? Short answers. Moving on to the second part. Let's talk about WH questions. With WH questions, we get long answers. Long answers. So it's the opposite. It's the opposite with just no questions. These are called WH questions. We call them information questions. They are the same. Uh, what is the structure or the formula that we follow? It's simple because we keep the same formula. This one. 
but we include at the beginning a WH word. We include a WH word at the beginning. WH word plus did again, that is a clear verb, plus subject, plus the verb in base form. And we have a complement at the end with a question mark. So that's the way we construct the WH questions. Okay. Before to start with some examples, I want to ask you. Uh, can you mention? Can you mention oh, what WH words do you remember, guys? Can you tell me? Why? WH words. Why? What? What? When? 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 Who? Who? Oh. How? How? How many? How many? Where? Where? How much? How much? Yes. Which? Who? Who? Which? Which? Yes. What was the other one that you mentioned? Sorry. Yeah. Which what? is here? What? what? I think whom. W H O N. Oh, whom? Okay. Pretty good. So we have more, right? Another one is what time? That is common. That is common to see it. Okay, I will use the most common WH words and I'm going to give you examples, right? Yeah, remember, that is the beginning of the questions. Let me, uh, you know, refresh your minds about the WH words. When do we use what? What is the purpose? Asking about uh, things. activities, A specific things. Specific things. Object. Objects. Very good. Tether, right? That is the purpose. What about where? Place. A place. Or it can be a location, right? A location. What about when? About time. Time. About time, exactly. Uh, who? Persons. Yeah, person, people. Get it up. Uh, why? Por qué? Because. Reasons. Yeah, so that is a reason, right? Very good. That is a reason or it's an explanation. Let's see, reasons or explanations. Again, what time? What about what time? About time. Yeah, about time again. So this can, this tends to be a specific, right? Specific, say at eight o'clock, at eight, at 5.30. Yeah, we hours. tend to say specific hours. It's specific hours. Forget, okay, those are the most common. Let's use this ones. Okay, I'm gonna give you some examples. I'm gonna take into account the structure so you can notice uh, the forms. All right. Uh, here we have some examples like what did you play yesterday? What do you play? Let's analyze the question. This is the WH word. This is the auxiliary did. This is the subject. You, this is the verb in base form. Again, this is in base form. It is not in past form. And this is a compliment. So we don't say played. Played. Say so play in base form. What do you play yesterday? We can say, I played, I played soccer with my friends. I played, 
Now the verb is in the base form if you use affirmative. It's in past form, sorry. The verb is in past form now if you answer in a positive way. But if you answer in a, neg in a negative way, you say, I don't play, right? I didn't play, sorry. I didn't play basketball yesterday. It is a negative, right? So you use the verb in base form. But if it is affirmative, of course, in this case, in most of the times, the answers are in, in positive, right? So you say, I played soccer with my friends. But in case you didn't play anything, you say, I didn't play basketball, I didn't play video games. Okay? That is the first possibility. Let's go with a second, a second example. <laughs> Let's go with where. Where did she go last week? Where did, let's change the subject. Let's say, where did Susan go, let's say, last vacation? So now we're changing the subject. We're using she, right? Yeah, she, because we're talking about a woman. And we say, she, went to a, let's say, what, the Pickle Lake? Last vacation. She went to, what, the Pickle Lake? Last vacation. So he were asking for a place or a location. The place is, what, the Pickle Lake? That is a place. So we're using where. For a place, right? Where? Let's go with another one. I would use when now. When? When did they graduate from high school? When did they graduate from high school? You can say they graduated <laughs> from high school last year. So again, please pay attention to the verse because when you respond, the verb is in the past form. Regular, irregular, and regular. When, when, last year. Where, where, what the pick and lay. What did you play yesterday? Play soccer. Okay. Another dullish word, not example. Let's use who. Who did you go to the party with? Who did you go to the party with? And say, I went to the party. I went to the party with my close friends. Who? Who? When? My close friends. That is the answer. Of course, we have to give complete answers, right? Complete answers. Who do you go to the party with? I went to the party with my close friends. Let's go with another one. Let's go with why. Why? You can say why did he why did he travel to the United States last year? Why did he travel to the United States last year? You can say he traveled, he traveled to the United States. Because he wanted to visit his relatives. So what is the reason? What is the reason this person traveled to the United States? Because he wanted to visit his relatives. That is the reason. And as you can see, we use in pass, simple pass. The last one. What time do you, the week, 
finish class yesterday. Finished class at 10 p.m. Finished class at 10 p.m. Okay, so what time? 10 p.m. And that's the way we construct questions, WH questions specifically, and we reply. We reply to those questions. Okay. Any questions? You can take a screenshot if you want. Any questions? Preguntas? Alguna duda? Okay. My no, sure. Okay. Okay, I will give you some examples. In the following slide, this is the way we construct a knowledge question, right? So you want to get information from other people. So you use knowledge questions or information questions, right? Because you get long answer. You get information about someone, about, I don't know, a friend, a family member, etc. So you use knowledge questions in the same Let's go to the following part and I will give you more examples. So we have some examples and some answers. Here we have a combination of the two forms, yes, no, and delish questions. Pay attention to the questions. Number one, what did you do last Sunday? This case is last Sunday, okay? Last Sunday. I played soccer with my friends. That is activity. That is the thing that you did, right? You did. Next, where do you play soccer? I played soccer in the park. In the park. Where? In the park. Another one, and this is another WH word. How long? How long? How long did you stay there? How long did you stay there? We stayed there for about two hours. How long? So you're trying to get or you're trying to know the length of something, the period of something. When you say, how long do you stay there? It's because you're asking for that, for the period of something, the time. We stayed there for about two hours. In this case, we're referring to the park. We stay in the park for two hours. Did you enjoy the match? That is a just no question. Did you enjoy the match? Yes, I did. If you say, if you want to give a, a long answer, you can say, yes, I did. I got so exhausted, but I liked it. And the last one, did you, did you do something else that day? No, I didn't. Well, I just called my girlfriend and went out with her. Okay, so we can get long answers with just no questions, and that's the way you can do it. These are some other examples, and that's the way we identify the just no in WH questions. They are two different forms. Okay, any questions? Any questions, teacher? Thank you. All right, nobody else? Sorry, nobody else? No questions? No, teacher. Thank you. No question, teacher. All right. Pretty good. So, 
moving on, let's go to this part, the following activity. For this activity, let me see how many you are. Right now you are 26. Okay. Okay, listen to this. Look at, look at the questions given. You're going to ask and answer questions to the correct form of simple paths. We're going to practice now. Now is your turn. You're going to ask questions, and the other person is going to ask answers the questions, and we're going to do the opposite way, right? The opposite job, right? I have some questions here. Okay, I have eight. Eight. We will do something. We will do something. Just give me a second. Because I need you to work in the breaker rooms. Vamos a trabajar en los breaker rooms y necesito que practiquen con las siguientes preguntas. Vamos a, we're going to interview our classmates. Vamos a, a entrevistar o vamos a hacer las preguntas a nuestros compañeros. Y viceversa. Hijo, pues puyo, hijo, preguntas a los compañeros. Y yo no sé nada porque don Dani. Oh, Hello. Ah. Ok. Please, please, be, be careful, be careful. Verify that the microphone is off, please. No worries. Okay, listen, just give me a second. I just want to do something. Because you're going to work in the breaker rooms. Okay. What do you have to do? Listen, we're gonna work in pairs. We're gonna work in pairs, we're gonna work in the breaker rooms. I have divided the questions in two parts. This is the first part. This is the student A, student A. And this is the second part, this is the student B, okay? You're gonna be in pairs, you're gonna work in pairs. One person is going to be a student A, student A. So you have to ask these four questions to your classmate and the other person will be a student B. So student B has to ask the other four questions to student A, right? So that's what we have to do. First, one person is going to ask the first four questions Student A in this case, student A is going to start. He is going to, he or she is going to ask questions from student A, and then student B is going to ask the questions. Okay, we will do that. For example, let me let me model what you have to do. Let me see, I'm going to select someone. Uh, could you help me, Ruth Elizabeth? I ask you. Okay, you are you will be no. Ruth, sorry. Yes. Okay, you will be a student B. Okay. Okay. And, and I will be a student A. I'm going to start. I'm going to ask you the questions first. Okay, Ruth. Number one, what did you do yesterday, Ruth? I went to the supermarket at night. Very good. So imagine that we continue, Ruth, and I ask you the last question, number four. Uh, Ruth, number four, what do you what do you have for breakfast this morning? I eat um, beans, cheese, um I I don't know how do you say platanos. <laughs> oh, you can say bananas. A banana. And a cup of tea. Okay, bananas. And you can say, and drank some coffee. Okay, very good, very good. That's the way. Okay, so I finished with the questions, right? I asked my last question to Ruth. Now Ruth is going to ask me her questions. So you are sitting B, Ruth. Ask me the first question and the last one, only those ones. Son la primera y la última. Pero es un ejemplo ahorita. 
Good. Now ask me your, the questions. The first one and the last one, only those ones. What time did you arrive in class today? Very good. Uh, I arrived in class at nine, all three, right? All three. Were you late? Yes, I was, but you know the, the my situation, right? It is not because I want to enter late. Ustedes saben mi situación, ¿verdad? Pero soy honesto, ¿verdad? Eh, es por la otra clase, ¿verdad? Así es que, por eso ingresar tarde. Did the last question, Ruth. <laughs> did, did you do homework yesterday? No, I didn't. If you say yes, you have to say what kind of homework. I don't know, you can say my math homework, my English homework. If you say yes, si decimos que sí, vamos a especificar. Decimos que Don't no. you say no. Yeah, I okay. say no. <laughs> exactly. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. That's what you have to do, guys. That's what you have to do. Okay? We're going to work in pairs. Listen, I'm thinking about this. What I wanted to do, because we don't have, like, too much time, we're going to select just two questions. Vamos a seleccionar solo dos preguntas eh, por persona, ¿verdad? Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Una, una, alguien de ustedes va a ser su estudiante A. Y lo, la otra persona va a ser estudiante B. Por favor, tomemos una captura ahorita. Todos de las preguntas. Recuerden que esas son para el estudiante A. Y esas son para el B. Si ustedes deciden, cuando estén en el breakout room, ustedes van a decidir qué va a ser A y qué va a ser B. So lo que vamos a hacer, I will give you 10 minutes. It's almost 9.47. So I will give you until 9.57. 958. Voy a dar 10 minutos exactos. Oops. Alguien se nos saca. Tenía 26, ahorita tengo 25. Y bueno, espero que se una. Porque voy a empezar con los breakout rooms. Vamos a crear los grupos. Los voy a crear manual. Vamos a irnos con eh, creo que 12 grupos ahorita, porque no solo 20. Bueno, tengo 24. Bueno, es hora que se puedan incorporar sus compañeros para hacer la actividad. Los que se, los dos pues, participantes que se salieron ahorita, imagino que es por algún problema de conexión. Voy a crear solo dos grupos ahorita. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Los voy a crear ahorita anual. Bueno, en este caso automático. Let's go. Okay, in the first room I have Alexis and Dagna. You're going to work together. Number one, Alexis and Dagna. Number two, Daniel and Ruth Elizabeth. Number three, Ana Maria Hueso and Gerardo. Number four, Gloria and Haiti. Number five, Zulma and Veronica, Duran. Number six, Veronica Milagro and William. Number seven, Jancy and Sonia Maldonado. Number eight, Erika Yesenia and Jenny Sarai. Number nine, Edith and Gilma. Number 10, Jaime and Marta. Number 11, Luis and Walter. Number 12, I have Jocelyn and Ruth Milagro. Creo que aquí me hace falta alguien. Acaba de incluir otro más. Oh, no, no, los tengo cabales ahorita. Sí, Verónica, ya me, me parece acá. Verónica Durán va a trabajar con Zulma. Los que no podemos utilizar el micrófono, vamos a utilizar el chat. No se preocupe. Así es que en el caso de Verónica Durán, imagino, al caso de Gloria, Gloria está con Heidi. Ustedes van a trabajar juntas, ¿verdad? Y van a utilizar el, el chat en este caso. No se preocupe. Bueno, el caso me conecto a alguien más. En el caso, quien estaba con Verónica Durán, bueno, voy a incluirla en otro grupo, Verónica Durán. La voy a incluir con Verónica Milagro y William. Porque se me acaba de salir alguien. Ok, eh, no sé si hay preguntas, si no iniciamos con la actividad. Voy a dar 10 minutos. ¿Preguntas? Sí, Dígame. Eh, según entiendo, las preguntas que están a, a, a la izquierda las vamos a hacer y las vamos a responder. Sí, eh, bueno, de hecho son dos partes. Decía, la primera parte, la que está al lado izquierdo 
parte de arriba, ¿verdad? Son las preguntas de student A. Son las preguntas del estudiante A. Las preguntas que están en la parte inferior derecha son las, las preguntas para la redundancia para el estudiante B. Entonces, cuando ustedes in, ingresen a, a, a los grupos, ustedes deciden quién es el estudiante A y quién es el estudiante B. Solo vamos a hacer dos preguntas por persona. ¿Ok? No entiendo. <risa> no entiendo. Ok. Hay dos partes, Tagna. Hay dos partes. En las dos partes hay dos preguntas. Perdón, hay cuatro preguntas. La primera sí. parte, la que está en la parte de arriba, parte izquierda, es la de estudiante A. Estudiante A. Esas preguntas le van, a, le van a corresponder a alguien. Ustedes van a decidir quién va a ser estudiante A y quién va a ser estudiante B. El estudiante B también tiene cuatro preguntas. Entonces, cuando ustedes deciden quién es estudiante A y quién es estudiante B, van a iniciar con las preguntas. Si digamos, eh, Dagna, usted va a trabajar con Alexis, digamos que usted es estudiante A. Entonces, usted va a hacer esas preguntas, solo dos, por el tiempo, dos preguntas, le va a hacer a Alexis. Alexis va a contestar. Luego Alexis le va a hacer dos preguntas a C. Alexis es estudiante B, estudiante B. Así vamos a hacer. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. No worries. Ok, eh, I have just one trio. I have Verónica Durán, Verónica Milagro, and William Ernesto. Es el único trío que tengo ahorita porque se me salió un participante, así es que los demás van a trabajar en parejas. No sé si se pregunta, si no iniciamos. ¿Tomamos sector de las preguntas? ¿Preguntas? ¿Estás listo? No, no, teacher. I'm okay. ready. Very good. What about the rest? Are ready? I will give you 10 minutes, okay? I will give you until 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay? Let's begin. Let's begin. Here we go. Can you access Erika Yesenia? I'm sorry? Can you access to the, uh, the breaker room? Will you get that? No, es que me salió un mensaje, pero no lo logré leer bien. Mm, ok. No, no lo he ido a aceptar. Ok, permíteme, voy a ingresar y lo, lo voy a llamar. Ok, thank you. No estás por acá, Erika Yesenia, ¿verdad? No, no está. Permítame, déjenme ver cómo me llamo. Heidi, can you hear me? Uh, 
ఏది ఏది యూ కెన్ వర్క్ విత్ ఎరిక Vamos a hacer una cosita, porque creo que hay una, una problemarita. Vamos a trabajar juntos, ¿ok? O sea, o sea, Erika y Senia en Haiti. Trabajamos juntos acá, no se preocupen. ¿Ok? Let's go. Eh, creo, okay. que, creo que Haiti no puede usar el micrófono, así es que ellos se pueden utilizar el chat. ¿Ok? No worries. Ok. Yeah. We're going to work together, eh, Kenny and Gloria, because Erika ha had a problem. That's why I include you in the group. We're going to work together, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So you can eh, work together via chat, because I think Gloria is not able to use the mic. Please, thank you. Have you finished, Luis? Terminamos, Luis? Do you finish uh, Luis and Walter? Turma? No, teacher. Oh, I think Luis, yes. do you have a problem? Two no problems, Luis? Yes. yes. No okay. pude copiar las preguntas, como que me sacó, no sé. Oh, okay, okay. No worries. No se preocupe, vamos a hacer algo. Ahorita en un momento finalizamos con la actividad por el tiempo. Eh, sure. Voy a. A mí se me cayó el Inter, cabal, cuando empezó a hacer los grupos. Sí, sí, eh, no se preocupe, vamos a hacer algo. Eh, a los que no tuvimos algún inconveniente, vamos a, a seguir con la actividad, pero lo vamos a hacer vía WhatsApp. Vamos a contactar a nuestros compañeros. Ok, teacher. Yeah, thank you. No worries. Thanks. 
you're welcome. But we're going to go back. Let me close all rooms. Yes, thank you, Heidi, no worries. I understand. Okay, we're going back. We're going back, everybody. The time. Uh, do you finish with activity? Terminamos con la actividad? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. Just give me a second. I'm waiting for your classmates, the rest of your classmates. They are going back. And I will give you the follow up instruction. Okay. We're missing some participants. Let me check. Okay, let me display the presentation. Listen up. Um, yeah, some of you were telling me that, yeah, you had some issues, right, with your connection. Creo que algunos tenemos problemas de conexión, ¿verdad? No se preocupen. Los que, lo que sí les voy a, a pedir en ese momento, ¿verdad? Los que no completamos la actividad, por favor, lo primero, tomemos una captura de pantalla a las preguntas. Y los que no pudimos completar la actividad, eh, les voy a pedir de favor que Um, hagamos la actividad vía WhatsApp. Por favor, recordemos a nuestro compañero con el que estamos trabajando. Eh, si no tenemos el contacto de él ¿verdad? o de ella, podemos escribir en el grupo WhatsApp eh, su nombre, por ejemplo. Solicitando en ese caso que le responda para poder comunicarse vía WhatsApp. Porque sé que no, probablemente no tengan el contacto de sus compañeros. Que podemos hacer de esa manera. Los que quedamos, no pudimos completar la actividad, ¿verdad? Los que la completamos, excelente. Eh, vamos a hacer de esa manera, ¿verdad? Porque sé que algunos han tenido dificultades, no se preocupen. Eh, creo que algunos no, no me lograron ese, explicar eh, la actividad, ¿verdad? Recordemos, la, el propósito fue que ustedes practicaran con las preguntas en simple tasks. Eh, this is a student A, remember? Student A. So we have four questions, and this is a student B. So you were supposed to ask the questions. Either of your classmates, you were working in pairs. Uh, first, let's say that student A begins, right? And student A asks questions. Two or the four questions. Then a student B, because student A is going to answer questions first, and a student B is going to answer the questions, right? Then we'll do the same process, vice versa. The student B is going to ask the question and student A is going to answer the questions. Answers the questions. Ese es el, lo que estamos haciendo, ¿verdad? Estudiante A, estudiante A, perdón, estudiante B. Estamos haciendo ese trabajo. Estudiante A iniciado, hacía las preguntas, estudiante B contestaba. Y luego, viceversa, ¿verdad? Estudiante B, si a las preguntas, si a la contestado. Eso es lo que estamos haciendo. Entonces, ¿qué va a quedar de esa forma? O sea, les voy a pedir que hagamos, los que no completamos, hagamos el, el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Pero vamos bien a votar. Ok. Eh, Ruth, Elisa, I think you have a question. No, no es a question. Uh, solo quería decir que Daniel y yo completamos, eh, practicamos dos veces cada uno. O sea, hicimos, Excellent. intercambiamos A, B y B, A. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Excellent, that is the purpose. Thank you so much for, for informing. That's what you have to do, good. Uh, again, if you haven't finished with, or you couldn't finish with the questions, you can do the exercise. You can do it, you can ask a question to your classmates via WhatsApp. Remember that in there we have audience. Probably you can send audience. Es una ventaja, ¿verdad? Si es que los que no completamos, repito, podemos hacer el ejercicio, por favor, vía WhatsApp. Y pues es bien fácil, ¿verdad? Podemos enviar audios incluso para practicar, ¿verdad? Nos speaking. ¿Ok? Eh, por favor, completemos. Pues, no podemos. 
Eh, no sé si hay preguntas, dudas. No, teacher. Thank you. Okay, I will I will do the last exercise. Now we will do the we'll ask and answer the questions here. I'm going to select you know a few questions and I will listen to you. Okay. Let's go. Um Edip, let's begin with you. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? I went. I went to play basketball with my children. Okay. Yeah. In the park. In the park. Or at in the park. park. Yes, in the park. In the park. Very good. Eh, Edith, can you select somebody else, please? This is last name. Okay. Sulma. Sulma, okay. Let's go with the second question, Edith. Okay. What time? Sulma, what time did you go to bed last night? Yes, I did. I did. What time did you go to bed last night? Sulma, I went. I went. To bed? To bed. Of, uh, At? Or uh, 11. 11, okay, 11 p.m. You can say 11 p.m., 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Okay, very okay. good. Okay. Thank you. Eh, uh, select another class, please. Um, Victor. Victor, okay. Victor is going to help us in the chat because he's not able to use the mic. Oh, but Victor isn't here. So, man, can you select somebody else? Victor, no se acaba. Un momento. Sería la tercera. Eh, yes, but can you choose another classroom? Puede ser una alguien más, pero que Victor no está en acá. Please. Eh, Erika. Erika Yesenia o Erika Marisol. Yesenia. Yesenia, okay, good. So now, please ask it to Erika. Why? What time? Did you get up this morning? Erika, is it? What time I do you get, get up this morning? I get up. Um, mm. Eight. Eight, okay. Eight, we can say a.m. or you can say a.m. Okay, better for me, Erika, I got up. I got up. I got up. At 8 a.m. Very good, Erika, thank you. Erika, can you select another class in this? Um, Hilma, Elizabeth. Gilma, okay. Uh, can you ask this question, Erika, to Gilma? Uh, did you watch TV yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay. Continue with the question, Erika. If yes. What did you watch? Yeah. I did watch Watch it. Um, serie. Serious. Okay, serious. Serious. And remember, you say I watched. You don't say I did watch. Say I watched. A serious. Serious. Okay. Repeat again. Dilma, I watched. I watched. I watched. 
serious. I serious. Very good. Thank you, Gilma. Gilma, let's go with the last participant. Select someone, please. Mm. Uh, Luis Emigdio. Luis Emigdio. Okay. Can you ask the last question, please? Mm -hmm. What the, was this? I'm sorry, eh, Luis. Eh, Gilma is going to ask the question. No worries. No worries. Gilma le hará la pregunta. No se preocupe. What did you have for breakfast? This morning? What do you have a bre for breakfast this morning, Luis Emilio? I had. Pupusas, beans, uh, eggs, uh, beans. cereal. Beans. I had? Sorry? I had beans. Beans. Oh. Eggs. Bananas. Eggs. No. Eggs. Okay. You can ask me. No worries. No worries. You can ask me. No se preocupe. Voy a preguntar. How do you say? ¿Cómo se dice? Pues no se recuerda. No se preocupe. I had beans. Eggs. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eggs. Only that. ¿Por eso? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can say I had beans and eggs for breakfast. This morning. Repeat again, please. I had beans and eggs for breakfast. No, it's not. Repeat that. I had beans. I had beans and, and eggs, eggs for breakfast. For breakfast. Yes. Very good. Chris. Thank you. Appreciate. Okay, guys. Uh, well, we're going to start right here. Please, your your homework will be to practice, to practice with these questions. So you can ask your questions yourself and you can answer them right on your own. So that will be your homework. Esa va a ser su tarea. Practicar con las preguntas, hacer las preguntas a ustedes mismos y contestarlas con su... Ahora sigamos practicando. Eh, los que no completamos el ejercicio, recuerden, eh, contactemos a nuestros compañeros via WhatsApp para hacer las preguntas y contestarlas, ¿ok? Any questions before you go? Mm -hmm. Questions? Oh. Everything okay? Fine, teacher. Okay. Well, guys, uh, thank you so much. One more time. Today we finished with the third week. Ahora terminamos con la con la semana tres. Mañana estamos con la semana cuatro. Esta ya la sección cinco. Así es que let's get ready. This is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for being here for your time, patience, and participation. We we'll continue tomorrow, right? I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, keep safe, and many blessings to you and your families. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. teacher. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Time to you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, too. Bye bye.